guys, what is going on? My name is Noj456, and today we are going to be running through the Call of Duty World War II Final Reich Easter Egg, the hardcore side of the Easter Egg. Not the casual side, which I will be talking about in this, because you have to basically do the casual side to do the hardcore side at the same time. They're, they're one and the same thing. But this is going to be the hardcore version of the Easter Egg, the one that gets you the Dark Reunion Trophy. The other one gets you Fireworks. This one gets you Dark Reunion. And uh, we're going to be running through the entire thing today. I do recommend that you have actually completed the Fireworks Easter Egg first, because a lot of the stuff... I'm going to assume you already know how to do, or I'm going to build off of it in this video. Basically, this is going to be completely about the new Easter egg and pretty much 0% about the uh, the casual Easter egg. It's going to be all about hardcore, zero casual. So I'm going to link a video down below in the description that you guys can go watch, and that is going to be a tutorial on how to complete that. So if you want to go complete that one first, I strongly recommend it, and then you can come back to this video a bit later on. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So there are two main things you need to know for this Easter egg, and that is number one, by the very, very end, the very last step requires two different things. The first of which is that you have completed the entire casual Easter egg up to the very, very last step. That's number one. And then number two, you have to get all the way through and upgrade every single one of the Tesla guns. That's the very last step. It requires you to have both of those. So if you save upgrading uh, three of the Tesla guns until the last step, that's fine. But just know that at the very, very end, when it's a super high round, you're going to have to be upgrading those Tesla guns because you cannot go into the uh, into the uh, hardcore mode boss fight without doing that. But first of all, let's talk about this. Once you get to this point in the map, the point of no return, do not shoot. Do not shoot your Tesla gun at that orb. That is going to make it so you are locked into the casual mode Easter egg, but you do need to get everything done. The right hand of God, left hand of God, and voice of God all done by the very, very end, and then you are able to do the last step. But you have to do that kind of working out throughout the the entire time you're playing your game because if you save it, once again, if you save it all for the end, then you're going to be screwed. But the other thing you need to do, obviously, is get those four Tesla guns. It doesn't matter if you're solo, three player, two player. It does not matter. You have to have four Tesla guns all upgraded in your game and in order to complete the uh, hardcore Easter egg. And once again, this is the hardest part. You have to upgrade all four of them, and a lot of them are super, super difficult, especially solo. This is probably going to be way easier to do with four players because there's just so many more zombies to work with, so many more points to work with, and uh, that, that's, that's kind of the main thing that you need for these Tesla guns. But uh, work on getting one upgraded because the first step requires you to actually uh, have one Tesla gun upgraded, and then pretty much in between the rounds and while you're still working on the actual Easter egg, you need to be working on upgrading every single other Tesla gun and if you don't know how to do them if you're if you're missing any of the tesla guns uh down below in the description i'm gonna link guides on how to do all four of them uh, i don't know if it's gonna be my guide or someone else's it depends on how on how long it takes me to get these guides out but i will leave all of them down below in the description make all four be completing the casual easter egg and let's get into step number one so once you obtain your first upgraded Tesla gun, what you need to do is make your way over here to the side of the cliff where this little water wheel is. And then you're going to see this little rooster thing standing up here and it is going to spin when you hold square on it. Now, after you spin this thing, it's going to point in a certain direction. There is going to be three different spots it can actually point. As you can see, the one I have is right behind here. And what you're doing here is you're looking toward where the rooster is pointing and looking for a little white light in the window. Or in this case, it is in a window. That is the first spot. That is the spot that I got right there. The rooster can also point over this way and it'll be a little light on the wall over there and last but not least there is another spot that is kind of underneath the bridge and you have to look on the side wall of the bridge to be able to see it it'll be if it is pointing this way and you'll see it over here it's very very easy to spot if you just follow the direction that the rooster is pointing but whenever you do find your light and you spin your rooster you need to go ahead and look at that window shoot the light and then you will see that the water wheel actually will start turning now this is going to expose a little coil that you can only shoot with the upgraded Tesla gun. That is why you have to have this to get actually started with the Easter egg, and this is the first step right here. So go ahead and take out your Tesla gun, shoot that little uh, kind of like circuitry on the on the uh, water wheel there, and that will start lighting up, and that will actually bring power to the pub. Now that we have power in the pub, we are ready to go ahead and get the record player, which we can do in the spawn area as well. All right, so what you need to do is you need to start checking all the spawn points that I am shooting at in this clip, starting with that window and then up here on this ledge for three different tops. Now there's a green one, a yellow one, and a red one, and you have to collect all three to move on to the next step, and I am shooting at every single spawn point that I have found so far. I'm pretty sure this is all of them. I've checked over 10 games or so, just making sure I had all of the spawn points for the tops. You can do this from the very, very start of the game if you don't want to wait till now to try to find your tops, if you just want to reset it if you can't find all three of them. But I'm pretty sure this is 
every single spawn point I will shoot at in this clip, and you need to find three of them: green, yellow, and red. So whenever you whenever you find one, you just need to shoot it once, and it'll pop off the roof, and then you need to hold square on it. It will say you found a keepsake, and you need to find all three of them uh, in your game in order to be able to progress. So uh, there's another spawn point up there on that ledge. It basically can be anywhere that is out of your reach. You're not gonna be able to like jump up and grab it at all. You have to shoot it down. There's another one can spawn up there on that ledge right above the pub, and then the last two that I have found are over here on this little balcony in one of those two spots right there or just slightly above it. So once you have all three of your tops, once again, this can be done right off of the spawn if you don't want to wait till later in the map to do it. But uh, go ahead, run over here, and then you need to insert all three of these tops into uh, this little kind of like toy stall or toy stand, whatever uh, whatever you want to call it. So uh, whenever you've inserted all three, you need to start running around and checking all of the windows in the same spawn area. When I say spawn area, I mean the same area. You need to check all of the windows for different Enigma machines. Now, these Enigma machines will have a ribbon on them, and they will have a number. So that red says nine right there. So you need to write that down. Red is nine, and uh, continue on your hunt. Basically, you only need to find one. I have never found all three in one game for whatever reason. That yellow is eight, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. But uh, I've never found one. I've never found all three in one game. If you have two, it's extremely easy. It takes ten seconds to guess the last one because you just spin one top all the way around. But uh, having one is a little bit longer of a process. If you only have one, you need to basically guess and check for the last two, which is uh, not, not a super lengthy process, but it's a little annoying if you're doing it solo. If, if you're doing it duo, it's really not a big deal because you can just have someone kind of like cover the uh, cover the zombie and then you can just ch test every single combination. Uh, but basically, when you have uh, when you have either one or two of them, you need to head back over to that toy stall and you need to input the numbers like a clock. So this, my red is a nine, right? So I want to put the little dial hand completely to the left and uh, insert that in. This is another spawn point over here if you want to go ahead and check there as well. But uh, go ahead and head over. So uh, my red is nine. So I'm gonna put my, my red all the way over to the left right there. And that means it is 9 p.m. on that clock. So I have an eight for yellow. So I'm gonna put that yellow to 8 p.m. And then all I have left is my green. So I'm gonna spin the green all the way around until it locks in automatically. It'll it'll stop you from actually spinning anymore once you have actually gotten the right combination. So I'm just gonna spin this green around until it stops on its own. It stopped on its own right there. And then I need to run over and grab that record. Now, if I only had like say the yellow and I needed to still test the green and the red ones. Uh, there's the record right there. Go ahead and pick that up and take it over to the pub. But if you only had the yellow one uh, and you needed like the green and red, I would set the green to like 6 p.m. and then I would spin the red all the way around. And then I would set the green to 7 p.m., spin the red all the way around, and then do that over and over and over until I found the actual correct combination. It, it's not super, super difficult. It just takes a little bit of time. But uh, if you can find two Enigma machines, it'll take you literally 10 seconds to complete. But grab your record, take it over to the pub, insert it into that record player. A song will start to play and we can move on to the next step. So for the next step, what you need to have is you need to have a Brenner head readily available and set down next to this little machine right here. Now, you're not going to need it very, very like, quickly or anything like that. You're just going to have this set up and ready to go for the step after this. But you will need that Brenner head, so go ahead and make sure you always know where one is. Save it there and uh, just leave it there whenever you're ready. Now, whenever you put the record into the pub player, uh, you're going to need to go ahead and turn on the power once again in this area. Now, there's a third switch you're going to have to do, which I will show you in a second. But first of all, what you need to do is go ahead and switch on the switch just like when you're opening the salt mine door you need to switch on the switch and then run all the way across the map to the other side where you're going to hit the second switch and then run back to the middle to turn on the third switch this is timed it doesn't have a little ticking noise or anything like that but this is timed but as long as you have stamina up on solo or you have more than one person it should be very very easy to do there's the second one right there you're turning it on once again for the second time and then you're going to head to the middle where there's going to be a third switch that actually is exposed on the wall run over here and you're going to go ahead and flick that switch and then there's going to be a little wall panel that opens opens up right there. Now, what you're gonna do with this is you're actually going to be shooting this and then using the Brenner head to look at some panels in the dark. And uh, basically all you have to do is shine the Brenner head on them once. It's very, very easy to do. It's it's actually way easier than it should be. Like there, there, there should be like some sort of special code you have to do, but uh, it's very, very easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this with an upgraded Tesla gun. The thing is going to power up and overload the circuit. All of the lights are gonna come off and then you're gonna come right here to the right off the spawn room and you're gonna see that that is a uh, that is a little panel and when you shine the Brenner head on it there's going to be some blood marks lit up on it so the second one is right here on the other side as you can see the things flick around and there's some blood marks that show up once I show the Brenner head on it and uh, just to show you the first one once again uh, you just got to run over there and then shine that light and have the blood show up so uh, once that happens uh, you only have a limited amount of time to do that the lights will come back on at, right there as you can see it's very very quick so make sure you just go ahead and shine both of those and then let the lights come back on 
Now, once the lights come back on, you're actually gonna come over to each one of these panels and spin each number pad until you see a little uh, blue kind of like fluorescent thumbprint on it. As you can see, there's my first thumbprint. You kind of have to aim at each individual little dial and keep spinning it until you see that blue. And then you're gonna move to the next one and keep on going. And then you have to do that f uh, basically five times, or is that six? Five times, five times until you, the, the panel actually opens up and you grab one half of a little disc. Now you can do the same thing when you come over to the other half, obviously, if you run on your camouflage or you're doing the solo, it is going to be a little more annoying to do whenever you have to deal with the zombie, but just keep on spinning this thing until you complete it. And whenever you do finally complete it, you're gonna to have to have two halves of this tiny, tiny little ritual disc. Now what you do with this ritual disc is you actually take it down below to where the hand of God is, and then you're gonna go ahead and insert it behind the main altar and that is going to actually give you your sword, which you are now going to use for the next step. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and get into that one. So for this next step, it is all based on how quickly you can kill about 30 to 50 zombies, depending on how many players you're playing with. Now, you, what you need to do is you need to get next to this gramophone and listen for the song to change and start the next song. Now, whenever the next song starts, you basically have the time frame that that song is playing to kill around 30 to 50 zombies only with the sword. Now, the sword itself is going to have a little upgrade that actually happens after a few swings, after about five or six kills and uh, maybe around one or two executions, uh, it depends on which one you want to do. Uh, the sword is actually going to start glowing red, and whenever you swing the sword with the right trigger, it's actually going to have a little pulse effect that kills more than one zombie all at once. But basically, the point of this is that you have to kill about 30 to 50 zombies right in front of this gramophone so that the souls get sucked up with the sword in the amount of time that it takes for one song rotation to do. So basically, the name of the game is you cannot jump down out of here, you cannot leave, and if you're doing this on solo, the really the only way to actually do this is to do it on the pest rounds because that is the time where you can have a bunch of zombies running in that don't do a ton of damage that kind of stay back a little bit it's a lot easier to kill them because they die in one swing if you're doing this a four player you can pretty much come here at any round and just let all the zombies come to you and kill them all as quickly as possible but as you can hear the song is playing in the background it hasn't ended yet and i'm going to keep getting these kills with the sword until you actually hear a little activation sound and the song changes and it starts playing backwards and you hear these clicks you hear the song right there and the clicks start playing in the background so i know that i am done and then i go ahead and run on out of here because the next thing you need to do is you actually need to listen to these clicks but just a few tips for this jack in the boxes work really really well if you're doing it on just a normal zombie round if you want to go ahead and get more and more people it's honestly a lot easier this easter egg in general is the hardest to do solo and it gets easier and easier as you have more and more people so make sure if you're doing it four player you just all stay in that corner swinging your swords and get those 30 to 50 kills as quickly as possible hear that activation sound and keep on going if you do this where you're just kind of like killing a few zombies and then you're running away because you're getting really really close to dying uh you're not going to complete it that way I, I tried that and it worked it didn't work for about uh seven or eight rounds in a row i was killing zombies just slowly but surely and the box does reset every single time the song resets as well so it'll say it's sucking up souls the entire time but unless you are getting these kills uh back to back to back and in the time frame of one song playing it's not going to work so those are the biggest tips i have for this. this is probably the hardest step in the entire easter egg and once you have this done uh we're going to go ahead and listen to this thing and i'm going to show you guys how exactly it works so you can figure out what your four digit number is Okay, so after you complete the record and now it is making a different song and these different sounds, you actually have to stand next to this record for a few seconds and it's going to actually give you four numbers. Now there's going to be a pause so you know when it starts and when it ends. There will be a big pause and then there will be tiny pauses in between each of the number. And basically how you tell is you count the number of little clanks that it does. That's really the only way I know how to describe it. You have to count the number of clanks in between each one. So just so you guys know, I'm going to put my code up on screen so you can actually see and kind of hear at the same time to see how I decipher this. It's very easy once you listen to it like two or three times, you're gonna know pretty much exactly what your code is. So it'll be a long pause and then it'll go chink, 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 and then it'll be a pause, chink, 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 pause, chink, chink, pause, chink, 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 chink. And that that's basically my code. That is five, three, two, four. I'm gonna show you guys what that actually sounds like in the game. Please don't make fun of my little imitation right there. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what this actually sounds like in the game so you can hear that, understand how I got it, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the very, very last step of this thing.
Okay, so after getting your number, you need to make your way down to the Voice of God area, and you need to have the ball of energy already flowing, but you need to make sure you do not shoot this thing with your upgraded Tesla gun. You don't shoot it with any Tesla gun whatsoever, because if that ball of energy is not there, if you don't have everything completed except for the hilt, then you cannot do this Easter egg. Obviously, uh, normally I would have all four of my Tesla guns upgraded. This is just a recording game where I was just checking out all the recordings, making sure I get clean gameplay of everything like that. So I didn't upgrade all four, but obviously you will have to have all four upgraded to do this. But you, what you need to do is on this machine right here, after putting in the voice of God in the first time, you need to do it the second time, but this time you're going to do your numbers from the bar that you got, and you need to input them in. So if you take a look right here, I have five, three, two, one. Four. So no matter what your number is, if your number is one, one, five, two, you need to make sure to do that. You just basically need to make sure you do it all in a circle clockwise, starting from the very, very front, around in a circle, until uh, until you do that. And then you're going to hold square on the activation thing. And then if you hold square on that, it will actually uh, it'll actually activate. If you do it wrong, it'll say machine resetting. That means you got a uh, an incorrect, uh, incorrect number down. So you need to make sure to check all these, make sure they're all correct, and then go listen and make sure you didn't get that incorrect. But if you activate it properly, it should look like this. So this is what it looks like when you're actually confirming it and, and putting it in and making sure that it is working. So you run over here, you confirm the voice of God. It will not say machine resetting. If you do it incorrectly, it'll say machine resetting setting and then you'll hear your character say it's getting louder or the sound is getting bigger or something like that and uh, now you know you are ready to go ahead and shoot the chandelier right above this machine with your gun uh, obviously you have to have all four of the upgraded uh, of the upgraded Tesla guns and you need to make sure you shoot all of them into that little inner ring and then you'll see this animation right here now whenever you actually see this animation you can go ahead and shoot the orb itself to go ahead and open it up expose the hilt and then grab the hilt and then you start the boss fight and that is basically basically it because the boss fight is pretty much the same exact thing the only things that are different is that the boss has a little bit more health we noticed a few more zombies like very very minuscule but a few more zombies to take care of and then whenever the blimp comes in it only shows one light at a time so what we did is we just decided we're only going to shoot it when it shows the back left light and anytime that opened up we were going to shoot it and then we would just keep running around on the map in circles waiting for that back left light to show up in the meantime waiting for that to happen but other than that that is the boss fight is exactly the same and you do it the same exact way you do the three batteries down him and then put the battery inside of him and uh that's basically it the cutscene is the exact same except for a little bit at the end but that you, you'll see that here we actually beat it we completed the cutscene and then we see the uh the dark reunion uh actually get put up so that is the achievement that is how you beat it the boss fight is probably the simplest part because it's more or less the exact same thing it just takes a little bit longer but other than that guys uh that is the entire easter egg i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys did if you did uh, find it useful or anything like that make sure you subscribe leave a like i'll be putting out a lot more streams on this game playing it solo playing with people and obviously uh hunting for any more easter eggs that may be out there on this map but other than that guys that is the hardcore main easter egg solved i hope you guys all enjoyed it if you did make sure you stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye